Hey, what's up? My name is Kevin and I am the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot. In this video, I wanna walk all of you beginners through utilizing the HubSpot CMS. So if you're brand new to HubSpot and you're just starting to use the CMS or maybe you're considering HubSpot and you're like, ah, what is it gonna be like working within the CMS and building my website? This video is for you. I'm gonna give you a real kind of high level overview of what the experience is utilizing the HubSpot CMS just so that you can get your bearings straight and have a little bit of a foundation as you start going in and building out your different web, web pages. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, I wear glasses and I've tried doing these tutorials with no glasses and it just, it's just a mess. So here you go, Kevin with glasses. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off here in the HubSpot CMS under the marketing tab we'll go to this little website pages and this is where you can manage all of your different pages within your hubspot account this is basically a list of all the crazy pages that i have here um, what's in draft mode what's scheduled what's published and so on and so forth hubspot does a great job of breaking down your website pages versus your landing pages versus the blog posts that you have um, and then it'll actually spit out a site tree. We're not even gonna go into that. Mostly we're gonna spend time here looking at and working with the CMS. So what we're gonna do is gonna go over here and say create web page. We'll say demo for beginners. And that is going to put us into our different templates within the theme that we're using. You can go ahead, if you're new to HubSpot, you can select one of their free themes. It's not gonna be quite as robust as some of the things that we'll talk about here, but at least it'll give you a playground to kind of mess around with. Or if you already are planning on purchasing a premium theme or have that in your account, super awesome. You can just kind of follow along, even if it's not quite a one-to-one. -one. So once we create a page, we're gonna be met with all of the different templates within the theme that we have um, in our account. If you want to change the theme, you can just go ahead and select here and say change theme and select whichever one that um, you actually want to work with. I'll go ahead and I'm just gonna look for my thank you page here in the clean theme, just since it's simple um, and just a really easy starting point. Uh, I don't have to mess with a bunch of the modules so much. And as the page loads, this is your experience working within the CMS. We have the sidebar here, which has a couple tabs. You have your add tab, which shows you all of the modules within the theme. A module is basically like a little UI component that you can drag into the page and then it'll show whatever content, image, video, etc., that you wanna build into that page. That's what all these cool little modules are. So you have a bunch that are included in the theme and then you have what are called common or default HubSpot modules. These are like super bare bones, really basic modules from like a rich text editor to an image and so on and so forth. For the most part, if you're using a premium theme, you're not gonna wanna mess with these common modules very much just because they are so bare bones. Um, but never say never. Maybe you wanna use one, I don't know, but for the most part, probably not. So let's go ahead and open these theme modules back up and I'm gonna quickly show you just how to think about the drag and drop capabilities within the CMS. So before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this module right here, which is the clean hero banner. And by clicking on a module, it'll actually open up all of the properties in which you can edit that module. So in this case, uh, there are things like the, obviously the content, and then you have a bunch of different style options. Again, this is specific to my clean theme. Uh, this might be a little different with whatever you're working at. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going through all of the clean modules, because the point that's not the point here. It's more so the CMS. But what I wanna do is I just wanna go ahead and reduce the height of this, just so that we have a little bit of workspace to drag in and play with some of the capabilities of the CMS and its cool little drag and drop editor. All right, cool, that looks a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click home just to get back to all of my modules. And what we can do is we can simply just click and drag and pull these into the page, just like that. 
it'll take a second to load, and then you're gonna have that module and its content added to the page. So I can easily just, well, click here to bring up the properties, which are already visible. Whenever you add a module, it's gonna be like, boom, here's your, you know, here's the things you can do to edit it, um, as you see here. But what I wanna show you is actually how to work with the CMS and drag and drop capabilities um, first and foremost. So let's go ahead and say I wanna drag in, um, we'll just use one of HubSpot's, say an image module. So if I drag this in, you can see how these different areas highlight depending upon where I wanna drag it. So you can drag it, drag it to the left, right, top, bottom, I mean, obviously. So we'll just drag it to the left here and you'll see how that kind of gives you the defined um, columns. If we put our mouse kind of right in the middle and we can drag to the left or to the right and basically set up our different column widths with the CMS editor. Now, some of the modules, like many of the clean modules, have some of those column um, structures built in, so you might not have to actually leverage that, but in the case that you wanna get creative or you do wanna leverage it, that's how easy it is to just drag and drop things around. Now, one thing that you will notice is by dragging those modules into the page, we created what's called a section. And so if we hover right over the top of this, you can see we have a few properties. We have our section, then we can edit the style of that section, which is really cool and important. So if I go ahead and click that edit, you're gonna see we have a few different options here. We can control our vertical alignments. We can make sure the content is full width or you know center contains. And then we can also set some of our padding and margins um, and be able to actually just create the spacing that we want right here. So if we go back up and say we wanna look at a background, of course we can say, okay, we want a color background or a gradient background. For this, let's just do like a light gray, um, which we can set that background right here. And then we can just go back and click home. So that is how you can kind of edit some of the sections and or utilize mod uh, the modules to drag and drop into the page. Now, as you kind of hover your mouse around, you're gonna see a lot of these other options kind of open up. There are a few different things in terms of the hierarchy you need to be aware of. There's a section, there is a row, and then there's columns below that. So long as you kind of keep that in mind, dragging and dropping and building pages is be gonna become a little bit of a breeze and you'll, you'll get the gist of it after a little while. So now that we have our columns, um, another cool thing that we can do as you're hovering over these different modules is you can come over here and click the clone module. And this is really cool because if you've dialed in any of your modules and the content and you're like, the structure's awesome, like everything looks great, but I want one more of these lower on the page. Go ahead and just click clone module. It's gonna give you a clone in the same row that you can then simply drag and then move to the bottom. So you can also use that as a way to build out the pages. And that is just a very, very quick high level overview of just how you can start to utilize the drag and drop builder and click around so that you can build the layout that matches the content that you have for the page. Now let's go ahead and look at a couple other things just to keep this as concise as possible. I know we're gonna talk about a lot and this is meant to be a high level overview. So let's take a look at the rest of the sidebar. We have our contents tab which will basically just give you a nice overview of all of the modules that you have on the page. You can very easily come in here and delete them if you don't want them. So I can just delete that module or by clicking them, you can just go in and edit them directly. So it's just an easier way to, to access any of the modules if you, I don't know, don't feel like clicking on the actual module. Actually, I find that easier. I digress. Let's go ahead and hit, click the home link, which is gonna bring us back to our contents tab. And then we're gonna go over to our design tab. Now the design tab is specific to the theme settings, which are basically the global style options that will ripple across all of the templates within the theme. This is, these are, this is your brand style guide. This is the fonts, the colors, 
icons, like all of that stuff is typically housed in the theme settings. So if we go ahead and look here and click theme settings, you'll see that you're greeted with a bunch of different options from typography to UI elements to calls to action. Now these are specific to the clean theme. If you're leveraging a free theme, you might have <clears throat> much more basic options or maybe not as many options. This is all dependent upon the theme that you're using itself. This is not gonna be necessarily consistent unless you are using the clean theme. But this is where you'd access all of those sorts of global style options. Now let's go ahead and click back to page editor and we'll leave with um, um, <laughs> unpublished changes. Now I wanna go ahead and just cover um, this top bar right here. Of course, the contents tab, this is where we're editing all the content on the page. If we go into the settings tab, this is where you're going to define a lot of the meta text, uh, meta description and things like that for the page, such as the page title. So we'll do, whoops, demo for beginners. You can select the language uh, of the actual page. If you have a primary language all set up, but you wanna build this page and say French, that's where you would actually select, like this is gonna be a French page. Of course, you can define your URL right here. That can be whatever you want it to be. And then your meta description. HubSpot does have a great feature um, where you can attribute a specific page to a campaign. So say you're running a, I don't know, a campaign for your product or your service and you wanna measure the impact that this page is having within that campaign, this is where you would go in and basically select that um, specific campaign so that as you're going through the analytics, it'll all kind of pair really nicely. That is a rabbit hole. We can go down in another video. If you're interested, just leave me a comment below and I'll, I'll do another video on that. And then there's the featured image. The featured image is actually pretty important, especially if you're creating a page that you feel is gonna be shared on social media. That featured image is going to basically come up in that little thumbnail, whether it's on Facebook or Twitter, along with the page title and the meta description. So having a cool looking featured image is a great idea on those particular pages, and that is where you would add it. And then we go down to our advanced options. Now, in some cases, you might want to create a private page, meaning you would want um, a password required, um, and then you can just set a generic password. Typically, these are used for internal purposes. So if you do wanna set a page live, but only wanna share it with maybe a client or someone on your internal team, this is where you can basically say, boom, here's, here's the password publish the page, and then as you share the link, you can share the password. This just ensures that no one else can access it, obviously. So we'll go ahead and click back to public. And now we're talking about the HTML um, head and footer. In certain instances, you might need to include an embed script for another third-party service. And that could, I mean, it could be a variety of things, but this is where you would access the head HTML to include whatever it is that um, you might need to include on the page. And then as we go down, this is probably areas you're not gonna really need to play with very much, how you can basically get or edit the template that you're using. You can attribute different style sheets if you really needed to get um, custom on a specific page, you can attribute a, a style sheet here and or set up canonical URLs. That is enough for the settings. Let's go ahead and go over to the optimized page or an optimized tab rather, which is great. So once you're done setting up all the content, images, video, and everything on the page, I highly recommend just taking a peek at the optimize. This will give you some really interesting, kind of mentions if there's anything missing. So in this case, the meta description, which we did not add in that settings tab is missing and it's kind of illuminating that here. So I always make a habit of just checking this page really quickly before you publish. Once this is looking good and ready to go, you can just go into publish options and say publish now or schedule for later. Pretty simple. Um, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. And now let's go into the preview window. Here's one thing to keep in mind. The preview window here in HubSpot, eh, sometimes it's a little funky. Usually if I'm actually just wanting to preview a page uh, and see really how it looks, I always say, open in a new window. Um, and this gives me a much better feeling or sense of that page. And I can look at it, you know, on different 
screen sizes here on my laptop. This is usually how I do a lot of spot checking. Um, however, the one really cool thing that you can keep in mind as it relates to HubSpot's previewer and where I find this actually super helpful is when you say, I want to preview this page as a, say, a contact or if you have smart rules set up. And smart rules, let me tell you, smart rules are super awesome because they allow you to define um, certain content blocks based on whatever rule that you have set up. So if you have people that have already become a lead, we'll call them, meaning they've either opted into your email or they've met with someone on your team, you can qualify them as a lead and then show them different content on this page. So this is a great thing to utilize when you're saying like, okay, great, let's just see how this page would look if a lead, quote unquote lead, is actually viewing it. So that's where I find the previewer the most helpful. Let's go ahead and click back and make sure that we did not miss anything. And no, I don't think we did. That is the high level overview of working within the CMS. I know I covered a lot. This wasn't to go into great detail on any certain um, area of the CMS, just to show you like, here it is, here's what it is like to work with it. In other videos, I'm gonna be building out pages and actually getting into a little bit more of the nitty gritty working within the CMS. So be on the lookout for that. If you have any questions, drop me a comment below. If you have any video requests, you're like, I would love to learn about this in HubSpot. Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next video. Later.